Have you ever wondered if candles can burn in space? This is a question that has piqued the interest of science enthusiasts and inquisitive minds worldwide. You see, a candle burns on Earth due to a set of factors, an ignition source, fuel, and an oxidizer, typically the oxygen in our air. This chemical reaction, known as combustion, results in the beautiful dancing flame we're all familiar with. But what happens when we take this candle into outer space? Let's find out. To answer our question, we first need to understand how fire works. Fire as we know it is a phenomenon that we often see yet seldom understand. It's the result of a chemical process known as combustion. This process requires three essential elements, fuel, oxygen, and heat. Let's take a closer look at these components using the example of a candle burning on Earth. The fuel in this case, is the wax of the candle. It's what keeps the flame alive. As the candle burns, the heat generated melts the wax, turning it from a solid to a liquid and then to a gas. This gaseous wax is what actually burns. Next comes oxygen. Oxygen is a vital component, acting as an oxidizing agent in the combustion process. It combines with the fuel to produce heat, light and other byproducts. Without oxygen, the fuel cannot burn. Lastly, we have heat. Heat provides the energy needed to kickstart the combustion process. It raises the fuel to its ignition temperature, the point at which it can begin reacting with oxygen to produce a flame. In the case of our candle, the heat is initially provided by the match or lighter that's used to light the wick. This trio of fuel, oxygen and heat forms what is known as the fire triangle. Remove any one of them and the fire ceases to exist. For instance, if you snuff out a candle by blowing on it, you're removing heat from the equation, causing the flame to go out. This understanding of fire and combustion is valid for conditions here on Earth where we have an abundance of oxygen in the atmosphere and gravity to keep the fuel and oxygen together. But what happens when we take these elements outside of our earthly confines? Now that we understand how fire works here on Earth, let's see how these elements behave in space. In space, conditions are quite different from those on Earth. This is an understatement to say the least. Outer space is a realm of extremes, a stark contrast to our familiar earthly environment. To start with outer space is, well, space. It's mostly empty, devoid of matter. This includes oxygen, a crucial ingredient for any fire. Here on Earth, oxygen is all around us, freely available in the air we breathe, but in space, there's no air, no oxygen, nothing for a flame to feed on. Then there's the matter of gravity, or rather, the lack thereof. On Earth, gravity pulls everything downwards, creating an up and a down. This is why flames on Earth are teardrop-shaped. The hot, lighter gases produced by the fire rise upwards while cooler, denser air is drawn in from below to replace them. This continuous flow of gases is known as convection, and it's what keeps a flame alive. In outer space, however, there's no up or down. Without gravity, there's no convection. Gases don't rise or fall, they simply hover where they are. This means a flame in space would behave very differently from one on Earth. These two factors, the lack of oxygen and the absence of gravity, have a profound impact on the three elements of combustion, also known as the fire triangle. These elements are fuel, heat, and oxygen. On Earth, a candle provides the fuel in the form of wax, the heat via the wick, and the oxygen comes from the surrounding air, but in space, the oxygen element is missing, and without gravity, heat doesn't rise away from the fuel source, potentially causing the flame to smother itself. These unique conditions make the simple act of lighting a candle a vastly different experience in space. Knowing this, can a candle still burn in space? Let's delve deeper. So, what really happens when a candle burns in space? Let's dive into an experiment conducted by intrepid astronauts aboard the International Space Station to get the answer. The astronauts decided to light a candle, a simple act that we take for granted here on Earth, but in the weightless environment of space, things work a bit differently. Here on Earth, hot air from the flame rises up, drawing in fresh cool air to replace it, a process known as convection. This continual flow of air provides the flame with the oxygen it needs to keep burning. However, in space there's no up or down, no gravity to drive this convection process. So instead of the flame stretching upwards as it does on Earth, it becomes a small blue sphere hovering around the wick. It's a mesmerizing sight, a perfect sphere of flame in the void of space. But this spherical flame doesn't last long. You see, without the convection currents to bring in fresh oxygen, the flame quickly uses up the oxygen around it. This lack of oxygen, in a process called combustion, is what causes the flame to go out. Now you might be thinking, but wait, 
Isn't the International Space Station filled with air for the astronauts to breathe? You're absolutely correct. The space station is filled with a controlled environment similar to Earth's atmosphere, including oxygen. However, the flame still goes out. Why? Because in the weightless environment of space, the oxygen isn't being continually replaced around the flame. So even in the controlled environment of the space station, without the natural process of convection, the flame uses up the available oxygen and goes out. This fascinating experiment brings us to a simple yet profound conclusion. A candle cannot burn indefinitely in space as it does on Earth. It may flicker into life for a brief moment, creating a beautiful spherical flame, but without a constant supply of oxygen it quickly fades away. So in essence, a candle cannot burn in space as it does on Earth. What does this mean for space travel, and why does it matter? These are the questions that naturally arise when we contemplate the peculiar phenomenon of a candle's inability to burn in space. Firstly, the absence of combustion in space presents a significant challenge for creating breathable environments in space. On Earth, we take for granted that oxygen is continuously recycled through the process of photosynthesis in plants. However, in the vacuum of space, without the process of combustion, this cycle is disrupted. This means that astronauts must carry with them not only their own supply of oxygen, but also a system to remove carbon dioxide from the air they exhale. The inability of a candle to burn in space is a stark reminder of the intricate balances that sustain life on Earth and the challenges that we face in replicating these conditions in space. Secondly, the lack of combustion in space also has profound implications for the design and operation of spacecraft. Our understanding of fire and its behavior in space has led to the development of spacecraft that are not only fire-resistant, but also designed to minimize the risk of fire. This includes the use of materials that do not easily ignite, and the incorporation of fire suppression systems. The fact that a candle cannot burn in space underscores the importance of these safety measures. Moreover, the peculiar behavior of fire in space has far-reaching consequences on a broader scale. It emphasizes the uniqueness of our planet and the conditions that have allowed life to flourish here. It serves as a reminder of the fragility of life and the importance of protecting our planet. So, while a candle may not burn in space as it does on Earth, this fact adds to our understanding of space and its unique conditions. It highlights the complexity of the challenges we face in venturing beyond our home planet and the ingenuity required to overcome them. It is a testament to our capacity for exploration and discovery, and to the infinite possibilities that await us in the cosmos. Let's summarize what we've learned today. We started our journey by understanding the concept of fire and combustion. We discovered that fire relies on three elements, fuel, oxygen, and heat. This is what we call the fire triangle. But we also learned that fire behaves differently in different environments. Moving on, we delved into the unique conditions of outer space. We found that space is a vacuum, lacking oxygen, one of the vital elements of the fire triangle. It's this lack of oxygen that makes combustion as we know it on Earth impossible in space. This then led us to our main question. Can a candle burn in space? The simple answer is no. A candle cannot burn in space like it does on Earth because there is no oxygen in space to sustain the flame. The wick of the candle, the fuel source, would not be able to maintain combustion without a steady supply of oxygen. We also discuss the implications and consequences of this. It's not just about a simple candle flame. It's about understanding the fundamental principles of physics and chemistry that govern our world and beyond. So the next time you light a candle, remember, it's a process that's truly down